Hello loves. This week I wanted to start the video a little differently because we've all been cooped up in our houses for what? This is going on the fourth week. The times are all blending together, but I just wanted to show you a little bit of LA sunshine. Look at this beautiful bougainvillea behind me. It is so, so stunning. I even dressed up for today's walk, put on a little makeup, put on a dress, and I just think it's so, so nice to get a little distraction. You may not have the best weather where you are, so I wanted to give you the little piece of LA sunshine you deserve. And in addition to that, I wanted to give you a little means of distraction and just something fun that we can do together. And that is online shopping. So I'm gonna take you along with me to my computer and we are gonna do a Credo Beauty online haul. <laughs> And the shopping that we're doing today is my favorite kind of shopping, and that is skincare, makeup, beauty, all the things you can put on your face and your body. So that's what we're gonna do today. We are gonna use this Credo Beauty gift card that I got um, when I was working for the brand helping them moderate a panel. So they were kind enough to give me a $300 gift card. So let's spend this money. There's so many things that I buy from them all the time, but there's a lot of things that I'm like, uh, I don't know if I want to spend the money on it. Uh, I don't know if I really want to try this. So we can get kind of crazy with it and just spend the whole thing, get a few things that I'm running out of that I absolutely love that I think you'll love too. And then just, you know, be frivolous, try different things. Cause how often do we get this opportunity? So let's start shopping. Haven't shopped Credo before. I really, really love this non-toxic beauty purveyor. They're fantastic. They have really, really high standards with their products, and I've just found some of the best products that I love so, so much from this virtual store and their real store, but we're not going there anytime soon, so online is where it's at right now. They also do a great thing when you order things online. They give you three free samples, and they're great samples. Like right now, they have Goop Glow peel pads, which I really really, really love. They have Indie Lee. They have tons of different stuff. So when you buy something, you can try some new products and you don't have to, you know, buy a whole thing. You can find out if you love something with just a little sample. They also have makeup. They have skincare. They have hair care. They have pretty much anything you need. And pretty much everything I have can be found on Credo. So big ups to Credo. Your girl just lost about two and a half hours of her life. <laughs> Just kidding, it was so fun. I went ham, I ordered so many things, and I can't wait for them to get here so we can do the full unboxing haul. It's here! It only took about a week and a half, and all of the Credo Beauty things arrived, and I have to be honest, so I didn't spend $300. The total ended up being $500. So let me show you what $500 worth of non-toxic beauty and skincare looks like. With the brand new stuff that I've never tried and then progress to my actual tried and true favorites. And on my Instagram, I have a process of reviewing products and I do it for two weeks and make sure that I absolutely love them before I ever recommend them. So just know that the first products I've never tried and then I'll tell you my faves at the end. So let's start, let's start here, okay. Um, this is a shampoo that I got from a brand called Evolve, I think. It's instant volume cleansing treatment for your hair. I have really fine hair, so I'm always looking for really, you know, good options. This looks really interesting. I've seen this brand a lot. Um, the packaging, not necessarily my favorite, but I'm looking for a new shampoo. Let's put that there. I also got this other shampoo, which is from a brand called Graydon. It's a matcha mint shampoo. And those two scents are my absolute favorite. I love a minty, you know, shampoo situation that gives your scalp a little tingly spa-like feel. Ooh, it smells so good. 
It's almost like a vanilla mint smell. You don't get the matcha so much. So excited to try that. Ooh, okay, this is one that I'm really, really excited about. It's from a brand called Wabi Sabi, which I think is Japanese for um, imperfectly perfect, maybe. And this has orange blossom. So it is a probiotic orange blossom and frankincense toner. I love probiotics for the skin. Anything to help support the microbiome is great, especially for acne prone people. And orange blossom is my favorite scent besides mint and matcha. But really the smell of oranges and orange blossoms just brings me back to a place in time. And living in California, when I go on walks, I just sniff all the trees. So I just wanna give this a quick little spritz and see. It smells good. Um, it smells more like frankincense, which is a little bit of a letdown, but this bottle is really, really beautiful. So at least there's that. And I like to upcycle and use bottles from skincare products that are really, really pretty and sometimes put my less attractive skincare products into them. So that is a good trick too. Then I got these products from this brand called One Love Organics. I really, really like their stuff. I haven't tried this yet, but this is their facial cleanser with uh, vitamin E. It's a gel cleanser. I love a nice gel cleanser that's gentle. I'm all about making sure to protect the skin and gel cleanser is great for that. It's not gonna strip your skin. So you can wash AM and PM because I am a huge proponent of washing both morning and night. And this looks great. It's a big size, beautiful bottle. I love the amber glass, super pretty. Um, for those of you who are interested in why I would cleanse morning and night, uh, you definitely want to cleanse at night because there's tons of crud on your face after a long day, but you also want to be cleansing in the morning because you have dust mites on your pillow, you have all the chemicals that come from all the building residue in your home. There's just a million different things that you're exposing your skin to, so you don't want to wake up and just slather on product. Um, what else do I have? I actually have, I lied, I have tried this before. This product. This is the Botanical E Youth Preservation Serum from One Love Organics and it's pretty expensive but it has this wonderful kind of like thick luxurious consistency that I love and since I had a gift card I decided to go ham and get it again. I'm thinking about doing a serum review with all of the different price points. So serum from like 20 bucks to 300 bucks and just doing a review on my favorites in each price category. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments below and I will make that happen. But yeah, One Love Organics is a great brand. I really, really like it. So we'll stick with the skincare theme for now. Ooh, okay. So this is a brand called UpCircle. Yes, UpCircle. This is a face serum with coffee. And I'm not a big fan of ingesting coffee because it's, it's a little inflammatory, but applying it topically is actually supposed to be really, really great for the skin. And I've never used a skincare product that had coffee. And this was really, really affordable. So I'm excited to try this. And the nice thing is it's a recycled product. So they use coffee grounds that have been discarded and make skincare out of it. And it just smells a little bit like coffee. Um, kind of smells citrusy though. So we'll give that a go. I did get this. This is a brand that I really love called Based. This is a body lotion I've never tried before. I got this for Nate. Whenever I buy beauty products and skincare products, I always like to get him a little something and he's always running out of body lotion. So this is a really good option. If you have men in your life, I really highly suggest once you get yourself all dialed in with your skincare and beauty products, help them out because most of them are using like crappy swab and stuff that's really bad for their skin. So I think you'll really love this. I love their body wash, which is in here. We'll move on to beauty. So I got this Lily Lolo fluffy brush. This is the hopefully the fluffy brush of my dreams. I've always wanted a big powder brush and I don't know why I don't have one. So I'm excited to test this, probably use this with my new Kosas bronzer. You probably saw that um, tutorial first review of the product. And if you haven't, I'll put a little link up there so you can check it out because it is by far my brand new favorite product from Kosas and favorite bronzer ever. So I'm gonna be using that in conjunction. Then, oh, 
I got this beautiful celestial sphere eye soot from Ritual de File. File? It's French. Oh, hello! It's French. I don't speak French, so I'm not exactly sure. But it also had my name in the title, so I had to try it. Look at this beautiful little pot. Ooh. It's a... It's a shimmer. Ooh loves. I know that I'm going to be obsessed with this. Oh my gosh. Can you see? Can you see how beautiful that is? Oh my gosh. Oh, glitter sparkle all day. And how cute is this packaging? I'm just a sucker for any beautiful packaging. This looks like it'll last for 5 million years and oh, it is so pretty. I imagine this just like in the corner highlight or up right there. It's going to be so pretty. Can't wait to try that. Then I just got a ton of lip liner. So I'm just a huge lip liner fan. I have kind of asymmetrical lips so I like to kind of draw them on a little differently to make them more symmetrical. So I got two different brands I've never tried before. I love Lily Lolo as a brand, it's really affordable. So I got their nude lip liner, which ooh, can't open. I'll try it later. And then I got the RMS Beauty Lip Liner. And both of these are $20 or under. This one from RMS looks really great because it's, um, you know, does this, which looks like a retractable pencil. What do you call that? I'm not exactly sure. If you know, leave it in the comments below. But I like that it does that and you don't have to use a pencil sharpener because just the shavings and everything that gets super annoying. I'm very excited to try that. I'm just very excited, obviously. Then just to keep the highlight train going, I got this highlighter from PYT Beauty. I really like their products as well. This is called the Upgrade Highlight. I've been looking for a powder highlight. Just one that you can kind of throw on once you're done with all the rest of your makeup. I can't get this open. Ooh. But I have a lot of cream highlights that I love. I love the Kosas Duo so, so much, but I wanted to get one that was powder just to see what I liked better. Ooh. This almost has kind of a silver iridescence to it that I think will be really pretty on. Let's give it a little. Wow, that is very pigmented and very silvery. Hmm. I don't know if that is gonna be my cup of tea. That looks very silver to me and I usually like more of the warm gold tones, but we'll give it a try. Then I got another highlight from this brand called Westman, Al Al la, la, another French word, Atelier. Ar Atelier? Atelier, that's it. So it's pretty much House of Westman. But this makeup artist, Gucci Westman, she does tons of celebrities, she's really well known, and she launched her own non-toxic beauty line. This just looked so, so chic. I mean, how chic does that look? And this is a liquid, it's not a liquid, it's a stick. I don't know exactly what the texture would be, but it's a almost like a balm stick for highlight. And I just thought that would be a really, really nice way to apply highlighter, and I'm obsessed with that. Ooh, <gasps> yes, this is what I wanted. <gasps> I already love it so much. Okay, I haven't tested it yet, and it's a little spendy, so I don't know if you should go out and buy it just yet, but <gasps> I love that you can just do this. It's like you can add a little highlight contour and just the texture is really, really nice. Okay. Very, very excited about testing that one more for you loves. Ooh, it has a magnet. So chic. Now we're moving on to the True Spoon Approved, that's my blog, favorites that I love, love, love. I would wholeheartedly suggest that you go out and buy because they are amazing. Number one is Type A deodorant. 
If you're looking for a non-toxic deodorant, this one is the one to get. I've tried almost every single one of them and this is the best. I love it because it has this really easy to use applicator. So you just squeeze up a little bit and rub it on. It keeps the stink away, it keeps the sweat away. It doesn't leave a bunch of weird residue. I've had non-toxic deodorants that literally streak down deodorant crud onto my body. So this one is great. I've also got Nate on it because they have men's scents, but I do love this one, which is the Visionary. It's a crisp citrus. So good. Next thing you have to go out and buy, it's so amazing. Um, you can get it at Credo, you can also get it on Amazon. That's Coco Floss. This is a non-toxic dental floss. And if you didn't know, conventional dental floss actually has Teflon and really toxic plastics on it. And my grandfather, great-grandfather was actually a dentist. So I grew up with dental health just drilled into me and I love to floss. I floss two or three times a day and I'm obsessed. So cocoa floss, really good. All the flavors are good. The fresh coconut I think is my fave. Then we have the based body wash. This body wash, it's not even that expensive. You get a lot of it, it'll last you for months. It's the seductive sandalwood scent and if you like more androgynous, more sandalwood, woodsy scents, you have to have this in your life. Oh, it smells so, so, so good. And anyone in your life would love this scent. You could even use it pets and kids. It's very, very safe and wonderful. Last but not least, this is the Cosas wet lip oil in dip such a beautiful shade this formulation is so pretty it smells a little bit more like orange blossoms than even the orange blossom toner it smells a little like orange blossom and vanilla to me and just the color is exquisite again a little spendy but this one i think is worth it all right can you see let's make sure you can't see up my shirt I mean, I just love, love this color. The other thing that I love about Credo is that you get samples. You can select your samples when you make an order. So I got a little mini type A deodorant that I can put in my bag or in my car. If I ever drive again, who knows? And a little fragrance, and non-toxic fragrance, and then a moisturizing nectar humectant. So a little moisturizer, which is always good to have on hand for cuticles, your face, or whatever. Yeah, that's it. That is it. That's what $500 worth of Credo Beauty looks like. And I hope you loved, enjoyed. I hope that this gave you a little escape. And if there's anything that you have questions about, you can always DM me, but definitely go to Instagram and keep an eye out for reviews of all these things. And I just hope you are staying safe and hanging in there. This is all gonna be over soon. We can do this, we got this. I love you, I'm thankful for you. And I would so appreciate it if you made it this far. Please like and subscribe and I will see you next Tuesday. Mmm. -hmm.